A lot of new information about Rising Storm 2 has been released recently and it got me really excited about the direction of the game. Being a fan of more tactical, deliberate gameplay, ever since the release of Red Orchestra 2 in 2011, I've been a bit careful about my expectations for games in the series. Compared to the original game, for some reason they took the design direction of trying to make the game more accessible, more action oriented. How unsuccessful this direction for the gameplay was is emblematic in the aptly named action game mode of Red Orchestra 2, which no one plays and has no place in the game to begin with. Antimatter Games, the developers of Rising Storm 2, seem to be taking a different approach. They just released an FAQ and an extensive preview detailing how they're doubling down on the asymmetry and on the tactical nature of the series. Recoil will still be high, suppression will be effective and guns will be lethal. The game is approaching the concept of asymmetry fundamentally different as well. In Rising Storm they try to offset the difference in firepower by slanting the map towards the weaker side, the Japanese. In Rising Storm 2 the use of clever tactics will allow the Vietnamese to stand a chance against the air and fire superiority of the Americans. When we saw Huey helicopters in the review trailers we all assumed they were probably going to be on rails, but as it turns out they will actually be player controlled and used not just to engage the enemy but also for recon abilities, which the Viet Cong can apparently avoid by hiding under trees or standing still while the helicopter circles the skies. They also get the ability to place traps in the dirt like we know from Rising Storm and the ability to place spawn tunnels which will act like mobile spawn points for the team. There are many more features and improvements they talked about and this is all well and good but what gets me really excited about the game is that it's shaping up to be a more advanced and refined version of the game I already love in a new and relatively fresh setting. Instead of going down the fast paced arcade route they are doubling down on the tactical nature of Red Orchestra and what makes the game great. If you're going to cater to a niche audience like the tactical gamer community is compared to the mainstream gaming, you better fully commit instead of trying to release a wishy-washy product. And this seems to be at the core of the design for Rising Storm 2. I can't get to play this game soon enough and if you feel the same make sure to sign up for the upcoming alpha. I will put the link in the description down below.